Roth, Dr. Paul Smith, and Bill Graham. Your referee is Richard Steele. This is the main event of the evening. Ten rounds of boxing in the lightweight division. Introducing, in the red corner, fighting out of Miami Beach, Florida, weighing 135 and one quarter pounds, with a professional record of 13 wins, 13 defeats, one draw, with six KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Freddie Pendleton. And in the blue corner, from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing an even 136 pounds. His professional record consists of 23 wins, three defeats with 14 KOs. Here is a former junior lightweight champion of the world, Roger Mayweather. Roger, let's go. Let's go. Okay, I spoke to both of your fighters in your, your dressing room. I would like to remind you to obey my commands at all times. Any question, shake hand and good luck. Third man in the ring tonight, Richard Steele. Now the question coming into this fight, Al Bernstein, is does Freddie Pendleton have enough sheer power to tackle Roger Mayweather? Well, it, he is not, a, as you look at Freddie, and there is Roger Mayweather, he's not as powerful as Mayweather, but remember, as the rounds wear on, Roger Mayweather tends to lose his effectiveness later in the fight. Freddie Pendleton has a good chin, we saw that against Jimmy Paul and he can put his punches together. So we'll see. I, I know to the uninitiated, they look at Mayweather's record, and they look at Pendleton's record, and they, they think mismatch. Certainly Mayweather's the favorite, but uh, not nearly the favorite that the records would indicate. We saw Pendleton fight quite well against Jimmy Paul. Pendleton coming off a 10-round loss to Jimmy Paul, but if you could talk about a loss benefiting you, Al, it would come from the simple fact that Jimmy Paul, similar style of Mayweather. Yes, and then he put that win against Mendez in between the two, but Paul's style, very similar to Mayweather. And the, the same problems, you have to look for the right hand, which Mayweather has and Paul had. And uh, maybe a little more movement from Mayweather, but that's too much more. Roger, is, as his career has gone on, has tended to be more of a stationary fighter, as you see right here. In the old days, when we first had Roger Mayweather on uh, top-ranked boxing, he really showed a lot of movement. That was the first good right hand Mayweather threw. Pendleton is good right hand. Another good old man right. That left and right. Mayweather. Stunned him with that right hand. Pendleton's trying to, trying to stay on top of Mayweather, and Roger stuck his tongue out at him. He better not mug with Freddie Pendleton. There's another good right by Pendleton. Mayweather with a skull and crossbones and dice on his trunks. Now, see, here's a round where Freddie Pendleton did his work already. He took a right from Mayweather. He's probably done enough to win this round if he stays away and is careful and cautious and does a few things, move in, moves in and out. It's the way he fought Paul. He just didn't do quite enough to get that decision from Paul. Move to the left, to the right. Pendleton is giving Roger Mayweather some things to think about, just as he did against Paul. Very clever of him. 30 seconds remaining in round one. Overhand right from Mayweather. consider some fighters take fights on two and three days. Well, he was training for another fight, yeah. so we'll see. Let's see what they're saying there. 
against Roger Mayweather after what was an interesting first round for him. What happened? I didn't see that. What was the people hollering about? Huh? He pushed Roger. It's all right, baby. You all right? He shot his little load right there. You landed some good shots on him. You just got to set him up for that right. But you went to the body good. That was good. That was good. You go hook, hook back to that body, you're going to... He didn't like that. Well, he said he shot his load. This was the load by Freddie Pendleton. Pretty good right hand, not a great punch. And there was the left hook. Mayweather <laughs> okay, doing a real good job of slipping punches after that. Now, if Freddie Pendleton is going to be effective against Mayweather, he'll have to do what we saw him do in round one, and that is really force the action and get a four to stand and wait. I think he needs to force the action in flurries, then get out of there and uh, take his time for a little while, then come in again. Can't just stand and slug with Mayweather. Mayweather, tremendous upper body, but rather slender legs. <laughs> He's quick. Ali Shuffle. He's quick. Gave Jimmy Paul problems with that. Roger has just a fine left jab. It's a punch that really sets up the right. He's using it well there. And except for his two big failures, the, the quick losses to Rocky Lockridge and Julio Cesar Chavez, he's, he's been very, very consistent in his boxing. There's Pendleton. One victory. Mayweather's got two in a row. When you're 13 and 13 and uh, one, you don't put too many win streaks together. Although, I don't know, in the National Hockey League or the NBA, you'd be in the middle of the playoff struggle with that kind of record. In fact, you'd be at the top of it in some cases. <laughs> now, Pendleton, in his last five fights, has lost three. What a victory it would be if he could take out Mayweather. Now here he's pressuring Mayweather. Roger's done a good defensive job. Walter Sims, when he could back Mayweather up in their fight, did, really did a good job. All right, break, let's go. Pendleton spinning him around, then trying to nail him. Tell you what, if, if, if I was fighting Roger Mayweather and I was Freddie Pendleton, Though that is not necessarily a legal tactic, I'd do the same thing. I would try and get him out of his rhythm. When you get Mayweather out of that jab, jab, right hand rhythm, you can do something to him. He doesn't like to be roughed up on the inside. The blockers did to him. He likes to box at long range. Good right by Pendleton. He's getting the right in over the left jab of Mayweather. Sent some uh, water down here at ringside. <laughs> got Phil Stone right in the eye. Maybe the first broadcast stopped because uh, uh, an announcer has got something in his eye. ESPN have a cut, man. <laughs> we'll get Eddie Aliano down here to work on you. Mayweather missing with the overhand right. 30 seconds remaining. The hand speed of Mayweather. You see it in evidence there. Pendleton faring very well here in the early going. Welcome back to Las Vegas. I'm Phil Stone along with Al Bernstein. A standing night of boxing here on ESPN. This is the main event. Freddie Pendleton in the blue. Roger Mayweather in the black. Freddie Pendleton, two fights ago, three fights ago, was taken over by Ed Gersh with his training team of uh, Larry Kent and Sal Benetta. Um, he seems to have gotten a little bit of a lease on life from them. Had two wins and uh, one loss in that time, though the loss was to Jimmy Paul. At only 22, even with all those losses, I think that's why they're willing to say Freddie Pendleton is a fighter who could still have a future in boxing. And you see he stays in with, uh, with all the, the good people he faces. There's a knockout ratio it indicates what a better knockout puncher Mayweather is. Pendleton and Mayweather trying to catch each other off balance and neither able to connect. From these two fighters, you don't expect that kind of awkward action. Pendleton has been the distance with Paul, Joe Manley, losing to both. Lost to Adolfo Medell, a good lightweight. 
of the distance. Lost to former champ Hilmer Kenty again a distance fight. So those are the kind of fighters he's been losing to all by decision. Many, many of them close losses, I might add. Pendleton, Al, like a fighter, unable to put together combinations. He's really never been able to put together an impressive win streak. No, and uh, often taking fights on short notice and doing things that are not going to be conducive to a win. Keep in mind, Mayweather with the big, big right hand. He's nailed Pendleton so far with a couple of good rights. Hasn't done any real genuine damage. There was a good right. Well, unlike the Paul fight, Pendleton coming forward. It was Paul doing the chasing and Pendleton boxing. Here it's Mayweather. He takes the right. Now, as I said a few moments ago, Mayweather came into that title fight in January of 83 against Sammy Serrano with 14 consecutive victories, knocked Serrano out in the eighth, then went on to post two more title defenses before being knocked out in the first round by Rocky Lockridge. And since then, it has been like starting all over for the former champ. Good right hand a moment ago by Mayweather. He's boxing pretty effectively, but can he do this over 10 rounds? He faded a little bit against Walter Sims. And he's getting pressure from Pendleton. Thus far, a rather unorthodox exhibition of boxing from both fighters. Welcome back, round four. Mayweather and Pendleton both coming out of their corner before the bell. Richard Steele sent them both back to their corner. Richard Steele is making a conscious effort to take control of this fight. He went both corners and warned them. He said, no more of the after bell activity or points will be deducted. Both fighters had had that in the last two rounds. And there is no referee in boxing better at controlling a fight when it looks like it's going to get out of control than Richard Steele. That's because he looks like he could take either one of these guys out. For the light heavyweight, he probably could. But he is really a fine referee. Right now, he, along with Tony Orlando, a referee out in Atlantic City, might be two of the best referees working in boxing today. No way! Mayweather with that lead left, trying to set Pendleton up with that big overhand right. Big right hand. Now goes to the body. Mayweather counters to the right. Well, they have both landed their right hands. Now, Pendleton is noted as a big puncher. Mayweather is. Mayweather has not hurt Pendleton. I don't think Pendleton has really hurt Mayweather. I don't think there's any question in anybody's mind, particularly when you talk about the world-class promoters, Bob Arum here tonight. Roger Mayweather must make a very impressive show tonight. I think that's true. They, nobody felt that his win over Walter Sims was all that impressive. Right. But well enough to win. For Walter, a, a kind of a journeyman lightweight, not a bad fighter at all, but not a world-class fighter. Uh, he had Mayweather in some trouble a couple times in that fight. And Roger still has to prove he can fight as a lightweight. Remember, he's moving up in weight with his big wins over junior lightweights. One minute to go here in round four. Now, don't go away. After our night of boxing from Las Vegas, Sports Center will follow to update you on all today's activities in the world of sports. Pendleton now lunging at Mayweather. Roger Mayweather, for the most part, has made his living out here on the West Coast. Good right hand, another good right hand, unable to follow, and Pendleton ties him up. Conversely, Freddie Pendleton has never fought here, and you were talking to Freddie this afternoon about whether he thought that would work against him. Well, it's tough when you come to another place that you've never fought, but the other guy has fought a lot. We'll see how that reflects in the scoring. Back in round five, old Pendleton comes right out and tries to unload a 
big right hand on Mayweather, can't do it. Instead, it is Mayweather who connects with the right. Okay. Freddie Pendleton, true to his word, has been a little more aggressive in this fight than he was against Paul. Not putting his punches together. Whoop. Law balance there. Mayweather's been tough to hit, though. Yeah, he has slip punches very, very well in this fight. There's the combination punches Pendleton wants so badly in this fight. We saw it against Mendez. Mayweather coming into this fight. 23 victories, three losses. 14 of those 23 wins coming by knockout. Don't hold him, don't hold him. Mayweather is just missing with that right hand. It's good. It's not quite nailing Freddy. Lead right like by Roger. Check it out. Break. Step back. Step back. Sit here at ringside, Alan. Mayweather is looking right into Pendleton's eyes. Conversely, Pendleton looking right at the right at the sternum of Roger Mayweather. Hey, Freddie Pendleton is winging those punches. Man. He is not fighting a safety first fight. He's criticized by his handlers and a few others for doing that against Jimmy Paul. He is not doing that tonight. I think he's giving up something in technique because of his aggressiveness, but he feels he's got to do that. This is his shot. He doesn't feel like he's going to get a decision out here in a close fight. This round and this fifth round is making some things happen. Doing most of the punches. He turns lefty now. A lot of holding already by Mayweather. Could he be wearing down a little bit as early as the fifth round? No holding. It's not the first time Mayweather and Pendleton have been in the ring together. You go back mm -hmm. prior to Mayweather's title fight against Sammy Serrano, and Pendleton was Roger's sparring partner. Freddie Pendleton has to like this round because he's gotten Mayweather out of his rhythm, not getting nailed with the right hands. He's bullying him on the inside, and Roger has slowed a lot. This could be a key round in this fight. Don't hold, him. Work and get out. Work and get out. Don't hold, don't hold Roger. Let him go. Roger Mayweather, the former junior lightweight champion of the world. Freddie Pendleton, 23 years of age. He's become, at least in this fight, Al, a much more aggressive and attentive fighter with a little more snap and leverage in his punch. He has, like the man on the right, just to the right of your screen, Adolfo Chile Medell. Yeah, on the right there. He fought Pendleton back in 1984, beat him, Adolfo, a former lightweight contender, and that was when... Uh, Ed Gersh and his people decided to take over the management of Freddie Pendleton. And uh, Medell now out of boxing because of uh, an eye injury. We'll talk about that fight against Medell back in November of 84, I believe. In the summer of 84, Pendleton had knocked out Tyrone Trice in Detroit in the first round. So going into that fight against Medell, he had to feel like he could take Tyrone or Adolfo out. It didn't happen quite that way. No, it didn't. Well, Adolfo and Medell, very tough fighter. Had a great fight with Robin Blake. Freddie pumped up in the corner. He's coming after Mayweather. Sixth round of the scheduled 10 rounder between Roger Mayweather, the former junior lightweight champion of the world, and Freddie Pendleton. Mayweather backing up exclusively now. Oh, 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 goes Mayweather. He's out. And Scale backs him up. He was caught up in the ropes. I don't know if Roger Mayweather can make it. Wow, is he wobbly. Uh -oh. No way, it's an upset. Pendleton is going nuts. When he got 
caught up in the ropes. That, of course, was the problem. Richard Steele got in there, but not before Freddie Pendleton had nailed Roger Mayweather with some good shots. Yeah, Freddie Pendleton is pumped up, and why not? He invaded Las Vegas for the first time, and he did a number on Roger Mayweather. Well, I told you that that 13 and 13 record could be deceptive. And for Roger Mayweather, as we look at him, boy, does this dash his hopes to, for contention in the lightweight division. And you know what it was, Phil? He started slowing down Mayweather in that fifth round, as I said. I'll tell you, the bottom line is, I'm not sure that Roger Mayweather, as we look at Pendleton, was really in the best of shape for this fight. Pendleton, who has never fought here in Glitter Goats before, has captured the imagination of the fans here in Las Vegas. And there you look at the right hand. It got Mayweather in trouble. Now, Roger got hung up on the ropes. At this point, Richard Steele getting in, but just after Mayweather went down. And from another angle, you will see the right hand of Freddie Pendleton. He had landed several before, none quite as effective as that one. I'm not so certain Mayweather, Al, wasn't out with the first right to put him up against Well, the if not the first, certainly that second one there. Uh, it was a big win for Freddie Pendleton. Now the doctors are still looking over Roger Mayweather. Let's go to the ring and Chuck Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, 54 seconds of the sixth round. The winner by a knockout, Freddie Pendleton.